Florida Bats is brought to you by Sensing Nature. Bats are animals that have always been seen as spooky, frightening, and mysterious. In October, bats are plastered all over our Halloween decorations and can be found in a number of scary movies. But despite the prominence of bats in our culture, much of the information about them is still left in the dark. Today, we will illuminate the mystery that surrounds bats as well as talk about the species of bats that can be found right here in Florida. Bats are a part of the mammal order Chiroptera and are the only mammals that can fly. The wings of a bat are made of a membrane of living tissue which extends to their hind legs and tail. Their fingers are elongated, providing structural support for the wing tissue, and their prehensile feet allow them to grasp onto structures and hang upside down. Bats are nocturnal creatures, which means they go out at night. Because of this, their eyes are adapted to see very well in the dark. In addition to their great eyesight, bats use echolocation. This process allows bats to emit sound waves that bounce back to them and inform them about their surroundings. All of bats' physical adaptations are what allow them to be very successful flyers and hunters at night. Out of over the 1,100 bat species that exist worldwide, only 13 are native to Florida. Contrary to popular lore, not all bats drink blood. In fact, all 13 Florida bat species are insectivores, meaning they eat insects. Because of this diet, Florida bats act as a natural pest control by eating many agricultural pests found on crops and in gardens. Not only are they a natural pest control, but an efficient one as well. One bat can eat hundreds of insects in a single night. Because of their high metabolism, they have a high energy requirement which causes them to eat such large quantities. Another reason to keep bats around your crops is that they also act as a natural fertilizer the guano, or feces, is full of rich nutrients that actually improve soil quality. So where do bats live? Bats can live in a wide variety of environments. The two primary requirements are that they have a place to roost or sleep, and that they are close to a fresh water source. Ideal roosting sites can be found in caves, hollow trees, under dead palm fronds, and in Spanish moss. Buildings, bridges, bat houses, and other man-made structures are also places bats can roost. Bats are either solitary or live in colonies. Those species that live in colonies, like the Brazilian free-tailed bat, are more likely to live in man-made structures like bat houses. Despite their reputation, bats really aren't all that scary and are actually really fascinating creatures that have positive impacts on their environment but bats are still in danger. While white nose syndrome has not reached our Florida bats, the threat of this deadly disease is still imminent due to its spread across many states. Also, one of our Florida bats, the Florida bonneted bat, has been labeled as a federally endangered species. So what can we do to help bats? By taking steps to minimize habitat loss and the use of harmful pesticides, we can ensure that Florida bat populations thrive. That means don't disturb bat roosting sites and don't disturb bats in the wild. If you have a lot of bats in your area, you can build a bat house. If you're lucky, you'll be able to see bats flying around after sunset. We hope you have gained a new appreciation for these mysterious winged creatures and that we can all see bats in a more positive light. For more information, please visit us at www.sensingnature.com. Thank you.